And now, The Purple Room. Welcome into the Purple Room Podcast. I'm Patricia Caputo. He is David Bartholomew, and we have a very special guest here today in Rajan Valdez, who is our station manager. Thank you. Thank now you. we're here celebrating <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. So is this your favorite holiday, Rajan? Uh, it's the start to my favorite holidays. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Because it goes in order. It's like Halloween, Thanksgiving, yes. Christmas. So you got a timeline here. It's the leadoff hitter. Yeah. Do you get to celebrate Christmas after Thanksgiving or before? I don't know. I mean, I start dabbling in the Christmas music probably once November hits. Okay, November 1st. Yeah, is so like next Friday I'll be. Okay. I'll next, be. Really? I gotta wait. But I listen to Christmas I mean, music I don't go hard July. though. I kind of like just, you right. know. Right, ease into it, ease yeah. into it, yeah. Now, David, you're a little new here. You've never carved a pumpkin. No, it's my first time. Uh, my mom wasn't a Halloween fan, and I didn't really care either. So, because mm-hmm. to me, Halloween wasn't about par- carving a pumpkin. To me, it was just getting candy, like, yeah. honestly. Yeah. So, if I was in my uniform after school, me and my friends, we would, like, go trick-or-treating. But, like, oh, okay. we were just in our uniform, and we were just stopping at, like, local stores and just getting candy. Yeah, what's that, like, trick-or-treating in, like, New York? Like, you just go knock on a... Trick-or-treat. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, thing, like, sometimes, though, I mean, we don't even say nothing. They just have the candy in front. We just take some. It's just a bunch of kids just... It's what we do every day. I mean, there's always candy out in front of the stores. It's just more now. Were you one of the kids that took the whole bowl if it was, no, like, take one? No, come on. That's big back behavior. I would never do that. <laughs> I, no, that is I took mean. the good candy, though. Like, I was selectively taking yeah. the good ones because I didn't want, like, the yeah. butterscotch and, like, the peppermints. No. You got to leave those for, like, the five Peppermints? Notes. Yeah, yeah that shouldn't be for Halloween. There's growing pains to Halloween. Like, the older you get, the more you should get the good candy. You got to leave the peppermints for the little kids and stuff because you got to earn your stripes. Good for you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to earn your stripes. I didn't realize Halloween was this particular. Oh, but yeah, it is. Just right to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. there's levels, there's levels, Smith. Okay, well, anyway, the Purple Room presented by Walk-Ons. Now, let's move into our next segment of what's going on. What's going on is that we're carving pumpkins, kind of like we were talking about. So we have some special designs. Do we have thoughts, guys? Um, I feel like Picasso, so I'm just going to go with like whatever I think of in my head. And we're just gonna... You're just going to... Yeah, I'm not going to overthink it. Go just do the form. basics. Oh, yeah. I'm going to overthink it, but I overthink everything, so... Wait, can we start? Sure, I mean, why not? Go ahead. Here we so. Go. Okay. Okay, well, I actually plan stuff out, but I don't know how to draw or do actually anything First, when it comes to art. First, you gotta work on the incisions, because you're gonna cut into something, you need to know what you're cutting into, right? I'm, I'm attempting to make a shirt, and I was telling you guys I'm gonna have a 7 and an 11 on there, and part of that is because Brian Thomas Jr. is my fantasy wide receiver. Oh, yeah. So, you know, he was 11 here, and now he's 7. Jamar Chase is open. 24-7 Wait, 24-7, like 7 11 Whoa. And then my birthday is 7 Is that triple entendre or quadruple Pretty much, entendre? yeah. You can call me like Lil Wayne is calling me up asking me for help with his next album. Yo, I, I heard this earlier. And nobody cares that Lil Wayne isn't doing a halftime show anymore. I do. What if, what if he did like a surprise drop in? Like what if he's like throwing on this whole No, it, it'd be rude. Not gonna... No, Kendrick should give it up. Why? Because it's rude. No, it's not. It's what are you talking about? Fault. What? No, I think it's. <laughs> well, I the think men didn't do nothing. I think it's rude really the NFL, but like that's what I'm saying. Just like that little. That's like if, that's like if you got the okay. If you got the job to become like the mayor of like New Orleans, would I, you take it? No, you I would actually not. Would never. Even if you was the <laughs> best, if you was the best mayor in the country already, and they no. wanted you to just come out to New Orleans, you would say no. Church is doing a disservice. Why? As a patron of the state of the. Okay, but like you, I don't know. Are you really gonna call it? Um, you know, I, I can't argue about this because I don't listen to Kendrick anymore. So I'm not gonna say if Why he's don't the you best. Listen to him anymore. So, to <laughs> young boy. So I don't really listen to Young Boy's new stuff. Why not? Because I listen to the same three thousand songs every day. I just have one big playlist, and I listen to the same songs every day. So like you have a playlist of like three hundred songs, and you just keep adding to it. Yeah, it has like sixty one hours. So if we want to go on a road trip, we can. Oh my god! It's called everything go under to the sun. California tonight. To do you guys watch w- the Dodgers? <gasps> do you guys want to? Yeah, I'm wait. We can there. go to the USC game tomorrow too. And then there's a Lakers game today too. I'm not going to no USC game. We can go. <laughs> they keep losing. <laughs> Me too, but they keep losing. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. I'm working on something. Look, okay, come I, on. I give you a little sneak peek so far. Yeah. Just because I wasn't gonna show, wait. but this is what I got so far. So far, so good. We working. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Gotta get a cut in there. Okay, I'm actually a little confused though, because how am I supposed to carve this out and then oh. put the 11 on there? Let me see. Like how? How? <laughs> I'm like not an engine. Like how do you carve it out? 
Just yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, you got, but you got to make like the 11 boxy. Like if it's actually. A oh, okay. I, I understand. Ooh. So then this Guys, could stay in. Before I was a journalist, I was an architect. Like I was making stuff already. I, not new. I don't want to say this, but like that's always like my lie story if I feel unsafe that I'm an architect major and I go to Rice University. What if they also go to Rice and like, oh, shoot, I'm an architect that's fine. Too. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting serious. I got it from Seinfeld because that's what George Costanza always wanted to be. Anyway, favorite Halloween movie, go. Coraline. Coraline's been my favorite Ugh. movie my whole life. I can't what stand What did you say, that up movie? for? That movie scared me. Yeah. yeah. That, mo- that movie holds sentimental value in my heart. Cinema. What's what's scary about it? The button eyes. <laughs> what's scary about what's it? What's not scary about it is the question. Coraline is a great movie. I've watched it. I don't know, maybe no too much. Even though I'm older now, you know, it don't really, it don't hit like it used to. But that's not the purpose of it. Look, the purpose of a film like that is for you to turn it on every six months. Every six months? Well, if it's not Halloween, if it's Halloween, you can turn it on every day. It don't matter. But like, you don't gotta watch it every day. But it's to bring you back to your childhood. It's one of those nice Halloween movies that reminds you of when you're a kid in October. That would be my horror story, like American horror story, that like watching Coraline and what the Monster House. Did you ever watch that? Yes, guys? I was. I was thinking about that when you said Coraline. I, I hate that movie. That movie's scared. scared. You ever seen that one? It's so creepy. And my that sister used to love it, and she used to turn it on all the time. And I was like, Sophia, we can't be doing this. I can't sleep at night. Yo, yeah, this. But wait, can I be controversial with food again? What is it? Okay, so Reese's cups. I can't. <laughs> Wait, listen to me. Don't say it. Listen to me. It's not that I don't like them, but I can only really enjoy them on Halloween night. Okay. After that, n- no more. Then what's your favorite? I mean, I was always a Milky Way girl. Okay. But what's- I also like Kit like Kit Kats. I can enjoy. I'm not picking up Kit Kats in the store though, like on a <gasps> random Tuesday. What? No. Like to me, that's Halloween candy, and I kind of saw that they combined, and I don't like that. Yeah. No. It's like you, you sold out, you know? For years you were in competition, or at least you acted like you were. And now you're like doing joint size candy bars. It's like, are you Kit serious? Kits are so I sold good. out. I agree with you on the Reese's Pieces thing. I mean, those aren't the craziest, but Kit Kat? Oh my God, man. When Kit I had Kats ball points, good. I would go to like the five and I would get the bag of mini Kit Kats. And wow, they, would, they might have lasted me like two hours. Might have killed. <laughs> they didn't even make it out of the five. <laughs> Two hours. And if I'm waiting for food and I already got them, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I've ever bought a Kit Kat voluntarily, though. Trish, come on. Trish, come on. I used Trish. to get them for free every Halloween, and my candy would last me like a few months. Your Halloween candy? Yeah, <laughs> I would go for hours. But Trish is also like very like you eat very clean like you eat very good food yeah so. i try but when like that was always the exception you know Holly. but like no my mom used to do that and my, my mom was never like you can't ever eat sugar like obviously we ate sugar and stuff but for halloween she would always make stuff out of like oranges and all that and little pumpkins so we would have snacks and my friends would come and eat orange snacks made out of pumpkins or shaped like pumpkins those were the good old days Rajan, when did you stop trick or treating when you were a kid? When did I stop? Pro- uh, I think fifth grade is the last time I can remember <laughs> doing it. Is that bad? No, I guess I was just a nerd or something. Oh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just never. Stopped. Is, when did you stop, Trish? Definitely not in high school. I can say that I was not. Doing I was it. in high school. My senior year of high school. Was it? Yeah, me and my friend went. Well, well my- I told you I was in. We were in high school getting candy. We just wasn't. That's what I mean. Costumes. Well, one year. I don't know. I forget. My friend was something from anime. I don't know. They're all into anime. I've never really watched anime, but they were something like that. And I was respect on anime, man. Do you watch anime, I right? I love anime. Yeah, my friends all like it. It goes over my head. Why? I've never watched it, and I just don't understand it. It's like a and isn't it in like it's in Japanese, right? Most well, of the time. Well, I watch it in English. I, I mean, can, some people watch the subtitles, but I'm not even a subtitle guy for like regular movies. Like, even if it's in another language, if you dub it in English, like I'm not gonna. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna notice like that they're speaking in German, but this like, but like the dub is in English. I'm I'm just gonna watch. Yeah. I just can't pro. Like, I can't even watch it in English subtitles because I can't focus. My brain doesn't work like that. You're creative. Your brain's always right place. Yeah, it just doesn't work like in subtitles. 
I'm boy. still confused how to do this. How can I cut this jersey? Now you got to cut. Oh, wait. Wait, you didn't finish. So you were doing it in high school. So uh-huh. you were just like, what? Pushing little kids out the way? <laughs> no. No. They, they would, they would all stripes, go right? earlier. So we were. Earn your stripes. Yeah. I would get all the big size yeah, candy. So. Like, what? I wasn't. We were, we weren't pushing little kids. I mean, they would all leave, but like they were all going right yeah. after school. We would have homework, so you know we did an hour of homework, and then we'd go out. And yeah, and like I don't know, I had a baby face. No one knew how old we were. Oh no! You broke it, Bruh. Here you go. We got like. Aw. That's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so this, lost this right broken. now. This pumpkin carving gets serious. I didn't yeah. know how serious this gets. Maybe I was missing out. Maybe my childhood is getting healed right here. Your inner child? Nah. I'm, I'm telling you, I, was, I did not care about Halloween as a kid. Really? So wait, what's your favorite? Christmas. Okay, yeah. I love Christmas. When, when it hit September, I was thinking about Christmas. <laughs> I was thinking about Christmas December 26th. Like, I don't play. <laughs> You're thinking about next year's December Christmas? December 26th? Because I got to really start thinking about what I want. What gifts do I want? Well, do you guys have a favorite, like, Halloween or Christmas song? I mean, Thriller's pretty basic. Oh, I forgot about that well, one. Well, look, I, me and my friend were driving around, and we were trying to find, like, a Halloween playlist, and it made me realize, like, there's really not that many no, there's not. Halloween songs. There's not. Thriller Monster is... Monster Mash? Yeah, Monster Mash. Oh, which is not a banger. One. Have which you guys seen not, it? Well, Have you seen it? Yeah. yeah. Which is not a banger? <laughs> Bro, there's a guy on TikTok. He's like, Monster I'm Mash so is not a banger. Uh-huh. I know bangers. But I agree with him. It's not a banger. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, Thriller's probably... Thriller's no, the thr- banger. Thriller's really good. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that one. Um, when I was a kid, we used to have this little pretend witch up for Halloween. It literally would just, like, sit. But anyway... She would sing, girls just want to have fun, but it would be like, ghouls just want to have fun. And my sister and I would just, like, get a kick out of this thing and just laugh about it all the time. And that would be my favorite Halloween song, but that's not really <laughs> yeah, But, so like, now I can't, I can't listen to girls want to have fun because I just I sing the lyrics wrong, and it kind of scares me. Okay, hold on. Wait, update, that's really good. Update, update. My guy, yo, my guy's looking sharp. I'm not going to lie. He's looking clean. He's looking clean. <laughs> I had the. Po- I'm still so confused on how to cut this because if I cut the whole thing, Wait, yeah. Let me see. the 11's gonna come out. Oh well, yeah. So uh, how do I just draw it again? Like my brain is just not working. I think you just gotta envision another thing. It might not be a jersey, but. But how do people do this then? That could be some ears. Mickey? They usually like shave it out, but they don't like go. You know what I mean? Like they, oh, you could like they just shave the around so it's not. It's like a different color. You know what I mean? Like okay. You know what I'm saying? You mean like they? Like just you don't go all the way in. You just right. kind of like gotcha. shave the black part off. Okay. Dude, pumpkins stink. Yeah. It's Brian stink. Thomas, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm he popped some, off last week. I'm have to be oh, I know. Fans. I can't just. I'm gonna house. need him to step up now that uh, it was his birthday. I, I actually only drafted LSU players this year because I'm horrible so in Burrow's fantasy. Your quarterback? Actually, Jaden. There we go. I couldn't get Joe. Someone took him. But I only well, wanted Jaden. Jade's probably doing better than him. Yeah. Um, that's why I told my family that he's going to play this week, even though he's hurt. He's fine. Kid's fine. That kid's, <laughs> that kid's, that kid's fine. fine. That kid, he's fine. I told him, I said, I texted him, I said, the source is me. That kid's fine. And he'll play. Your sources? Is that what you the said? source is me. I said. Uh, I said. I watched him play for two years. If he was at LSU, he would have been eight. <laughs> yeah. source. I don't need Schepter, whatever his name is. Ian Rappaport. Rap sheet. Yeah. What a miserable life. Well, I can't say miserable, but what a hard life that has to be to be like an insider. Oh, yeah. Like, I never. You're on your phone like all day. Yeah, I wake up to like a Schefter tweet at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, do you sleep? Why do you think Woj left? He's done yeah, with that. Yeah. He was like, oh, I could actually start getting sleep. Yeah, that'd be nice. You got to set an alarm every single hour. Now he's a GM. Yeah, exactly. Attaboy. That's a good Wait, life. Bro, he's a GM? Yeah. yeah. Of who? A college team. Oh. Oh, my gosh. There's college I GMs now. Name. I was just like, I missed that. You did you? Yeah, you don't I did remember? not see that. Yeah. I like quit, but. Yeah, Shams took over. His former, his former protege turned master. I don't know. This was like a I surgery. Brian, like I feel back like to the Brian Thomas. He's really gonna have to step up because uh, 
I lost Godwin, so at my oh. yeah, I lost Ayuk, oh, man. No. I lost Ayuk. But also, I suck at fantasy. Like, this is not my thing. Well, that's why I drafted all LSU players because I'm so bad every single year in my one league. My one league, I won, and I beat a bunch of middle aged men, and that was awesome. Listen, I'm a leader of men. I got to be in the head coach position. I can't be GM in. I can't be doing the GM stuff. But you need somebody to motivate the team, call me Wait, in. Wait, how, how are you doing in our league? I haven't even checked. <laughs> I suck, bro. I have like two wins. <laughs> yeah. I don't hey. know. I might get a win this week, but it's going to be hard. <laughs> Fantasy football is hard. Yeah, I got to call the boys. I got to have a serious sit Coach, down. Coach, right? uh, what is his name from uh, Last Chance You? Yeah, I got to have a talk <laughs> with them like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Put them in a group Uh-oh. Chat. Yo, I still follow JB. I've done that time. before. <laughs> Me too. I put them in a group chat when I was going to Fantasy Championship. Really? None of them answered, but yeah. but they knew. Like, before they won, yeah, they knew. They see, they knew. I may, like, I Justin not. Fields, people have a lot of say about him, but he's a quad state champion, so whatever. They just don't understand the impact he's had on, on my team. I may or may not have sent a thank you DM to Lamar after he won my <laughs> championship. As you should. I cannot conform, confirm that's, or deny. That's not crazy. I think you should. I mean, look, you got to do what you got to do. Let's see. Favorite costume you guys ever done? Well, David... You can't participate, but that's okay. You're Aaron. No, no I can't. You're, yeah, you're Aaron Judge I've been, today. I put, on, I put on costumes in college. Oh, yeah, I guess you have. Okay, my apologies. Look, my Halloween festivities, like, I haven't had a Halloween, like, child. Like, I don't got 14 years of Halloween, but I might have, like, five years. Like, I've done it a little bit. That's perfect. What's your favorite costume? What have you done? I was, um, I was, uh, what was I? I was a cowboy freshman year. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was cool. I liked that. That was nice. Oh, I don't yeah. know what I'm going to be this year, but, um. I start finding something. I'm probably going to head to Spirit Halloween. That's what I do <laughs> last minute. Is that still year. open? Oh, yeah. Is there one around here? Uh-huh. Yeah. Spirit's goaded. I'm trying to think of what my favorite was. You know what? That's good enough. I used to do, like, whenever I was a kid, I was so obsessed with Star Wars. I just did the same costume, like, three years straight. Do you like you Star Anakin? Wars? Will oh, you yeah. guys ever scream? Will you ever scream, Rajan? I'm doing it this year. Are you really? Yeah. My little cousins were always scream. There was really? always one of them. Yeah, my cousin had the fake blood, and they would just pass the costume around. <laughs> so every year, one of them, like somebody would scream, and it would scare me. Trish, what was your favorite? Hmm. I've done a few. It got to the point where I just did joint ones with my sister, um, and those were pretty fun. We One year, we were salt and pepper because, like, Patricia and Sophia, so we were, like, salt and pepper shakers. And then I'm going to use this Sharpie real quick. Sorry. Oh, it got all up in my nail. <laughs> Gosh, bro. Why do people do this for fun? <laughs> you go to pumpkin, like, patches? Me. Do you guys do that or no? Yeah. Do you I've, do never, that? I've never been. I, never? How do you grow a pumpkin? <laughs> I don't even know how to put this in. I've never well, seen pumpkins in person. This is my first pumpkin. Like, I see pumpkins in a store and I don't even buy them. I don't even look at them. <laughs> Not even for Thanksgiving, though? Like, you don't put a pumpkin out? For Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Like, you do that sometimes? No? People don't do that? Oh, my mom does. <laughs> like, we get, you know, we, we we get a few pumpkins and then just keep them, and then they last the whole season. Well, guys, you all have fall where you're from. I'm a little disappointed. I've never fall is for, like, like... I can understand here. Where, you know, in Louisiana, fall... It's not fall. Yeah. Like, I'm... Are you I, dissing I, them now? You're going to get mad. Look, I was I mean, sweating dude, like today. I was outside. sweating today. It is hot. Like, I was like, it's well, like I'm sweating. It's 50s and 60s back home. Yeah. So it is ridiculous. I, sh- I should be freezing right now. But anyway, back to the Halloween costumes. Oh. Okay. I messed up. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> it's just going to oh, be yeah. really <laughs> Okay. Well, look, there's still room. So I try to make a jersey, but it's okay. We're, you know what? Maybe we pivot. It's if, a, maybe it's, we pivot away from the jersey. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look, maybe we try something else. It's a thought that counts. Yeah. Okay. It is art is free flowing. Look, that this, could be whatever you, you want. You know what? This is a jersey, but it's also 7-Eleven at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? It kind of looks like a store. I guess what? Look, not every jersey is the same. Every right. Every different. Right. Every different. Every pumpkin's different. Exactly. Like, look at these things. They grew, and they're all different shapes exactly. and sizes and... So what if they're you go lopsided? Like, exactly. Right. They're really inspirational, let me tell you. They've been through a lot just to get here. And now they're getting stabbed. <laughs> Good for them. You know? okay, but, like, <laughs> but look how happy he looks right. getting stabbed, okay? Like, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. he looks happy. He yeah. is a happy punk. If he didn't get stabbed, he wouldn't right be happy. Right. 
It's a happy guy right here. <laughs> like, it's like cooking. Vegetables are meant to be chopped up. Do I need any fish? Right? <laughs> I agree. Like, Ray, how are you? But anyway, back to the Halloween costumes. Back to the costume, yeah. Who was your, who my, was your favorite? Uh, my favorite of all time was, I don't know if you guys ever seen The League of Their Own. No. Nah. Oh, classic. You guys got to watch that movie. Anyway, when my parents got divorced... My dad moved to like a town that was really a three month town, so you could only do everything in the summer. So every weekend, my sister and I would just watch the League of Their Own. So one day we were like, let's be them for Halloween. And it's really the movie about how <laughs> David's giving him freckles again. Okay. It was really about how when all the guys went to World War II, um, you know, the women stayed home and they started their own baseball league and how it became pretty popular and all that. And then unfortunately, it folded once the war ended. But my sister and I were each teams from that movie. They were playing ball. It's a classic Wait, like movie. A Madonna's in it. Fiction or Madonna's like, yeah, it, yeah. It's like based off a oh, true the story. Name? The League of Their Own. League of Their Own. You gotta watch the I've movie. Definitely heard it's of it. funny too. It's funny. Madonna's in it. There's a lot of other famous people in it, but it's hilarious. Um, I think Tom Hanks is in it. I think that's him. He's like the. The jerky coach who doesn't want to be there, and he's kind of a drunk, but just wants to get paid and all that. But it's a good movie, seriously. I would suggest watching it. So that was a fun Halloween costume. I did Ferris Bueller one time. Oh, that's awesome. That was fun. That's oh. awesome. No, that's. I feel like that's more my vibe of Yo, the you characters. Can do Elvis Presley. <laughs> you think? Young, yeah. Young, young Presley. Hello. <laughs> okay. How we doing? <laughs> oh, amazing. This is not gonna look like a seven. You know what? I warned you guys. I'm yeah, I like okay. this, honestly. Okay. I think artistic. I like my final product. This looks, that looks cute. D- does he have a name? I take it back. I get why y'all do this. It's a little icky, but. It's worth it. You're lucky. You didn't have to even take the seeds out and all that. Oh, yeah. So that's, that. that's not the. <laughs> you want to do that? Look, okay. When I. Oh, no, I'm not going to make something about it. Never mind. What? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Sometimes David says things <laughs> and we just have to say, we're going to move on. <laughs> so it's probably best that you just let him move on. David's like learning. Good job, David. <laughs> we don't have to edit stuff. Yeah, I'm not the same person I was five minutes ago. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Week last week. Maybe last week I might tell the story, but this week, no. Have you guys ever watched American Horror Story? Yeah. Uh, I've seen, like, some of them, but no, not all the way. Well, fun fact, I've never watched it. But I heard that it's about, like... (laughs) No, why I'm bringing it up is because I heard, like, it brings somebody into their worst nightmare or whatever. That's what the show is based off of, that it's, like, what would be your worst nightmare. And I guess maybe Emma Stone's in it, or Roberts, or Watson. I don't know. I get them all mixed up. One of the Emmas. And I guess hers is, like, being a cashier at some store or something and that's our american horror stories to be in customer retail do you guys um, like horror movies no yeah i do you don't like horror movies Trish? no why not i'm already scared enough someone's gonna come kidnap me in my sleep oh yeah i get scared like why well, would i, I watch love. a movie to encourage that idea when i was like like six years old and maybe this is the reason why i don't like halloween like that but when i was like six or something whenever wizards of waverly place was a thing hmm. i watched the like Wiz- I w- they had a special, a Halloween special. Yeah. It was like wizards versus mm. like werewolves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I watched it. I was dude. Disney Halloween movies were like <laughs> they were cra- Halloween it Town. Was scary cause yeah, look, Halloween Town was good. I went to bed and I had a nightmare. Oh my god! And I remember this nightmare to this day. Like it's never left me. It was me running through like a cornfield, and there's werewolves chasing me. I'm like, oh my god, help! Nobody's there. It was just me. I, I keep running, keep running, keep running. Then boom, I get to like. An abyss. There's just a crater. Like, like it's corn and it's just a big crater in the earth. The werewolves that get to me, they surround me. I'm like, oh my God. And then I fell. And that's when I woke up. And I was like seven. Me and my mom, we shared a room. Like, my bed was on this side and her bed was on that side. I woke up and I jumped on her bed like Aww. WWE style. Like Jeff Hardy, I jumped from my bed straight to hers. I like landed on like her stomach. Like, I got swan top on her. <laughs> And she was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, the werewolf came, chased me. Down. I went to sleep, but it was like. And now here you are today. It, it made, made me stronger. Made stronger. Character building. Now, if a werewolf we're, came. Werewolf I'm, I'm not even running. That's around. an intense werewolf. <laughs> I've never had an, 
I mean, I've had nightmares, but not like that. I think it's just people. Maybe. But I looked up the odds of getting kidnapped in Baton Rouge, and it's actually surprisingly low. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> it is. <laughs> look, you got to look this stuff up, okay? Want to talk to some citizens? I'm, I'm a, a statistic people? person. I don't even, like, well, like, calculate that. Word. I don't know, but the police did, I guess. Walk I don't know. Like, someone walk. did. But it's only, like, a 0.25% chance out of 1,000 people. Walk up to, like, 25 You know anyone who got kidnapped? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they just like no. no, but like they have <laughs> like the records of yeah. how many people get kidnapped in the area. Well, okay, guys. How and it's really low. Losing air for real. We're talking about kidnapping. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> my point to all this would be like, what would be your American horror story? Hmm. hmm. Like, what would if you they forced you to do something, you had to do it forever, like Groundhog Day. My American horror story would be <laughs> my American horror story is getting out of my car, like pulling up to the legacy at like one a.m. and Art the Clown is waiting at the, <laughs> at the entrance of my apartment. That that has been scaring me recently. Were there killer clowns in your cities yes. in like twenty sixteen? Yeah. Yes, I was terrified. I didn't want to get chased by one. The, I, that, but was, I was that was a weird time. I was prepared. I was ready. They're lucky I wasn't driving at that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The guys, the dash cam footages I see of people stopping. Like, no, 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 no. you me. can't stop in situations like that. No. Which is sad, but there's just no shot. <laughs> David would get out the car and oh, yeah, David, <laughs> take off yeah. his shirt and go crazy. <laughs> I, want, I just want to interview the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk to him. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> I think my American Horror Story would be me, like, I don't know, going to a gas station at, like, 4 in the morning, like, in the middle of nowhere. And it's just, like, that one clerk, and it's that one mm-hmm. weird, like, entry, like, the like the doorbell, like, ding, ding, when you walk in. That's pretty creepy. You see, if you guys lived in New Jersey, you wouldn't have to have that fear. Why? Because I don't get out of the car to pump gas. Oh, yeah, no, what if you gotta you, go, right? no, what if you got to go inside? No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you don't get snacks the same time you get gas. Wait, so how does that work? Like, you just literally pull up and someone's waiting at... Oh! At, boy, I got a... <laughs> they're waiting at... There's, like, six pumps and there's six people, or is there just one No, nah, there's, like, well, there's it. one guy. There's... Well, so sometimes, you know... Do you have to tip him? Nah, he gets paid 17 an hour. For Whoa! Gas? Oh, well, yeah! Like they're Jersey. making the life, bro. Well, the minimum wage is 15, so, yeah. yeah but, say, like... Can I like TV online? Can I get Jersey? <laughs> Bro, there's kids from high school. Can we zoom this podcast Bro, one while I'm time, gas for people? One time the guy told me I had to calm down. I'm, I'm like, fill it up 20 regular, please. Da, da, da. I'm just getting off of work. And he goes, <sighs> no, you're doing. he thought I was scared of him. And I was like, oh, I'm not scared of you. Oh. But I was in a rush. But you know what? He was a cool guy. How's your, how's your pumpkins going along, guys? Oh, good. Uh, failing. Mine's hard. So far, so good? No. I'm just adding a final like trinkets to my guy right here. All right, here, that's what we're looking at so far. No, those like are good, so guys. Those are good. Let's take a shot on that. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. Wait, <laughs> imagine with that. a little lamp in there or oh, yeah. a lighter or whatever. I'm trying. That a jack-o'-lantern. I just think I want to, like... just trying to clean it up now. <laughs> anyway. Fine details. Um, actually... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my... American Horror Story would also be listening to like War of the Worlds on Halloween. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My dad <laughs> always did that, and he used to be like, This is happening right now, guys. And people used to really believe that, you know, the first night War of the Worlds came out. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Yeah, I know and, what it is. Yeah, and like, you know, they really tricked a lot of people during that time that. Oh my gosh, zombie apocalypse and all this. So, I, yeah, he used okay. to sit outside so, and like, watch I it every All the like horror, like the main ones, like. Friday the 13th, their Halloween, like, which main one scares you? Like, growing up, is there one that scared you? Yeah, Jaws. <laughs> yeah, Jaws <laughs> is a good one. That's not even a Halloween But it is movie. scary. <laughs> Close enough. It is, scary. it is for me. I would not swim. I can't watch that movie. Okay. Um, I like Halloween Town. That one doesn't scare me. Friday the 13th. Well, I'm saying, like, the main, like, Halloween characters. Like, you got Chucky, Michael Myers. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, like, Which out of the scared? Halloween characters. No, Jason's Jason pretty creepy. Also, me. the one with the little claws. Do you guys remember uh, I know that who movie? You're talking about, and uh, the. Oh, Freddy Krueger? Yeah, and like, yeah. Jo- was it the one? Wait, was it the one with John? No. Johnny Depp. Yeah, okay, yeah. that was him. Yes, because I remember when I was a kid and I was swimming in my friend's pool and they had like a, 
above ground pool, which to me was always less scary than an in ground pool, right? Because the in ground is where the sharks can come out of the little filter because it's in the ground. Hey, but anyway, um, so I'm in the above ground pool one night and I just like imagined Freddy Cougar coming at me with those little like claw claws, hands. Claws. And then I got scared and I had to get out of the pool. But I couldn't tell everyone why I got out because, you know. I never, see, I never watched those movies until I got to the age I am now. I still oh, I just seen saw Halloween. the trailer. I watched Scream for the first time like two oh. nights ago. No, I'm never watching that Chucky, movie. I just saw the trailer Jack. for Freddy Krueger, and that was enough for me. I didn't even watch the movie. Did you guys watch Bloody Mary? No, that used to I've scare I've never even heard of that movie. Me, like... The kids in my kindergarten class used to talk about it. Bloody Mary. You ever kindergarten. Heard, like, you ever There's heard, a movie? Like, people talk about, like, well, I might be blank. This might be 100% like in my head, but I thought there was a movie, too. Okay. Because I thought that's where the trend came from. Because me and my cousins, we would go in the bathroom and, like, like Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Yeah, I remember that Bloody Mary stuff, but I don't... Again, I'm not doing scary movies. What's the really... The one... With the twins. Yeah, there is a movie. That's oh, like The Shining. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I, I tried watching that. Yeah, I might, this might be a hot take, but I got kind of bored. Really? I mean, I didn't finish it, Nothing so I could, I'm not going to sit here and say if it was good or not, but I can tell you I kind of – it lost me. He wasn't really Everyone says it's like the one of the scariest movies, but I think it's just more a psychological thriller. Yeah. Mm. And those never really scare me. They weren't it's fooling like the you. It's like the slashers that get me. Mm. The, it, I need a lot of jump scares. I need, yeah, a, yeah, lot yeah. Of, I need a lot of boosh. boom. Boom. So you like action movies? Do you guys like superhero movies and stuff? Oh, come on. Yeah, man. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I love a good superhero flick. Why, <laughs> why is she chuckling? I, that, why is she laughing at us? Uh, that's another one. I dressed up as Captain America. When I, uh, Siri, there we I've go. Oh, Captain that's America fun. Costume too. Yeah? I did too. Cap was the guy, dude. Cap, Cap was like a role Cap model is, for me growing mm, up. Undoubtedly no. that guy. The Are you team Cap or team Iron Man? I'm, I'm, I'm Team Cap, but I, I like think I grew Iron up Man. Team Iron. I mean Team you Cap, but now as I've matured, I feel like I'd go <sighs> Team Iron Man. Ooh, did you I have? Love, I love. I look. Iron Man is my god, but Wait, did you watch those Patricia Marvel movies? No. Okay. Part, part. Hey, okay. hey, hey! I watched parts of them. Okay, I okay. did watch Iron Man a few times because my cousins would watch it when I came over. But you know the thing? I never really watched um, Iron Man for the plot. Like I never really understood what I was watching because I was watching when I was so young. But Captain yeah. America, I think cool. what hooked me in was I was watching, like, the first time I watched Captain America, I was watching it on a plane. So there was nothing to really? do. That's funny, because the was, first time I ever watched Guardians of the Galaxy, I was, it on, was a on a plane. Yeah. Really, when you're guys. on a plane watching a movie, watch there's Coach nothing Carter. to do but watch. Yeah, like, so <laughs> yeah I was that's fly- why I love planes. I was actually flying home from, hold on, I was flying back to Baltimore for the first time since I moved to Louisiana. Oh, yeah? And there was this kid that was from New Orleans, and his dad lived in Baltimore as well. Aww. And so, yeah, whenever you were, like... I forgot what it was called, like flying. I don't know. You get like this satchel and you have to sit front row and uh-huh. you're like un- unaccompanied, you're, mi- unaccompanied oh, minor. That's what it is. Aww. And so me and this kid were both unaccompanied minors. And so he was like, do you want to watch this movie? It's called Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was <laughs> so like, cute, I've never man. watched it. And I was, <laughs> this is so cute. And I, we, we, dude, <laughs> She's going to start crying. I mean, yeah. sat there <laughs> on the plane and watched it together. And dude, we still text to this day. Me oh and my God. God. <laughs> but I've never, <laughs> seen, I've never seen him again. Are you serious? Bit. I was crying at Brett Gardner edits today. Okay, like there's, I don't, like that, I don't even know if that guy realizes like Guardians is my favorite Marvel movie. That was, like that he was introduced like a, me to like my favorite Marvel bro, movie that's of all boy. time. That's low key like you that's gotta invite him to the wedding. Ever. <laughs> no, that's so sweet. <laughs> just just hey, out like shout out, so. shout out Mason. If you're if for some reason this comes across your feed, you shout out Mason. Mason. How's Mason doing? <laughs> <laughs> is he good? I hope so, man. I haven't talked to him in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, the text. <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. But yeah, and um, that, that, you and are like, hilarious. You are hilarious. I like, cry at sweet things. Okay. Hilarious. That happened to be my first time ever flying by myself. And it was probably the best time. And that was your boy. Oh, you felt so safe. That's Honestly, the cutest yeah. thing ever. I flew in Baltimore. It was at night. Got to see the city at night. It was fun. Got to watch Guardian and oh Galaxy. Dude, that movie is amazing. It's adorable. Um, I've never seen it, but really. Well, actually, do you guys want to hear something? You guys can't make fun of me, though. What was the one where they all die? Endgame. Yeah, so Endgame had just come out. No, not Endgame, Infinity War. Infinity War, okay. And Infinity War had just come out. I was in high school. I'm like, I'm never watching the movie. My friend's telling me about it, whatever. We're at lunch. And he goes, oh, yeah, so Captain America died, right? Like Iron Man, they were all in it, right? They all died. And then I asked him, I said, did Superman die? (laughs) <laughs> he thought I was kidding. <laughs> there was, like, just like, get up. Wait, there was this kid <laughs> next to us, though, who like we were friends with, but he was kind of quieter, so he just didn't talk as much. 
and he was obsessed with like Marvel and every superhero thing you can think of. Yeah. The side eye this kid it. gave me. Yeah. And like kind of thought I was going to come back from it and be like, oh, I'm just kidding. Like, obviously, I know. Yeah. And, you know, then my follow up question was like, yeah, well, did Batman die? You know, you're looking at me sideways. OK, well, then Batman had to die. Right. And then that was the day that I realized that Marvel is and different DC. from DC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and there's a big and there's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. So a, I've I mean, heard. okay, look, I can't so talk com- comics, but cinematic wise, Marvel. Clears. So they're both Marvel comics. Does, Marvel does clear DC. Uh, Recently, DC has movies. been on some, but like Batman, Mar- DC Marvel's run sick. from Batman Iron Man sick. one to Endgame is something that will never be topped. Yeah, like that was. I mean, Batman vs Superman was pretty bad. This is probably why I don't watch superhero movies because that was pretty bad. But also. I think ben Affleck's just not believable as Batman, yeah. in my opinion. And maybe I'm just like, not to be rude, a realist, and I just can't watch movies that are fake. Okay. <laughs> Every movie's fake, Chase. <laughs> no, you watch, but you watch like, the documentaries but, only. Chase no, is watching ESPN I watch documentaries, only. <laughs> but I like I have to, I like what sitcoms. What's it called? Thirty for Thirty. Yeah. <laughs> I do like Thirty for Thirties, but I like sitcoms. So I heard you say Friends, not Friends, Seinfeld. Yeah, I love Seinfeld. Yeah, I could I had, watch that every day for the rest of my life. That would be like What's my American ha- Seinfeld. Okay. Hundred percent. Like I, I that's my comfort show, every time. But like I, I've, I've watched almost every '90s sitcom there okay, is. Friends. Kind of. Friends is really the only one I haven't really. Oh, my problem with Friends, I like it. My problem with it is they all start dating and they have kid like. I don't want a plot line when I'm watching a show. Really? No. Have you seen it's, The Office? Yeah, see, that's another like one. Oh, my God. It's hard to laugh at that. What like, it's just not funny. Like, it's just not funny. The Office is just... When I was in school Trish and high school, I was cracked Trish up. is going to look. But Trish. it's just not funny when I watch it alone. It's just too, like... But no, the, why I like Seinfeld is it doesn't change. Like, I used to watch Moesha by the sixth season. They ruined the whole show because I won't spoil it for those who haven't watched it, but it's like they just ruined the whole show and the whole, entire family dynamic of that show. And that was the thing about Seinfeld. Nobody ever left. Nobody was ever getting married or dating. Like, no. It just it was literally just... There was nothing. It was a show about nothing, and that's what I need in my life. When I have a long day, I don't want to think. Yeah. I don't want to watch some National Geographic show or some, like, superhero, high-intense show. I want to think about nothing. That makes sense. Except a joke. Get it. Sometimes you need some background noise. You really need it. Yeah, that's really it. And like now when I can just crack up because they're yelling at each other or like Kramer's doing something weird, it's funny. I liked Cheers. I don't know if you guys ever watched that one. Mm -hmm. I never. Cheers was a good one. Um, I'm trying to think. The Parkers? Nope. Come on, guys. That was the spinoff of Moesha. I wasn't a sitcom person. I I, I watched cartoons, bro. See, I I watched cartoons in the network. Uh, cartoon, Disney, like I watched kids stuff. I watched The Loud House. Maybe <laughs> I would catch I would catch George Lopez show at night. George Lopez. Oh, that's was how good. you know you were up past your bedtime. Yeah, but I was always up. I was always up, bro. I would like wake up on the couch because my it. mom would be on the phone and I would just be like chilling. As long as my mom is on the phone, she don't remember that I'm, po- I'm not supposed to be sleeping. I'm like perfect. But like once she hangs up, she's like. I'm supposed to go to bed. I'm like, oh my god, got me, got me. Like, no! My family's a late family, though. You know, like my family when yeah, we all get together, really we're up at two in the morning still talking. Like yeah, I have work the next morning. You know what's well. so funny is it's I like saw this nothing. TikTok talking about like how back in the day as kids we hated to go to bed, but now we're just dying oh. to get in bed. <laughs> now we're just like, please. I have no Dude, sleep. Going to bed used to be the worst. Yeah, but it's the end of the day. I do work at certain <laughs> times of the day just hoping I can get to bed on time. You're just That's laying literally, in bed now, like, yeah. It's my only motivation. And then trying to get to bed. No, that would look really good. I think, I mean, well, I definitely didn't The top don't fit. Something's going on here. There we go. Oh, cute. Okay. I think I transferred it through. Oh, like Frankenstein. Yes! Oh, this makes it so much better. Oh, wait. So this is broken. I might as well just chop it up in here. Cute. It's got a little I hat. Definitely took that. First. I've seen people like put toothpicks and then like get chunks of pumpkin and make it like teeth. I don't know. People get <laughs> yeah. really advanced with or this. Or like oh, someone's throwing oh, up. Let's turn oh yeah, with the yeah, seeds. Yeah, have you seen that? See, I got always open. Oh, I added, like some words on my Here we go. seven. But it's eleven. Like we'll Boom. let the fans decide who had the Word, better one. Fans, the older fans, or whoever's watching, Me can decide. Forever. I made it to this point. Forever. Please is... drop a comment. Oh, oh. 
who got the better pumpkin? Wait, can I see everyone's? Sorry, not to. <laughs> I need. Let me see. Let's hold them up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mine kind of looks like smiley face. If you look at it this way. It's my Wait, guy right actually, here, man. it's my guy. Hey, shout Wait, out BTJ. That's really good I for your first you. time. For your first time. I'm like, I'm that's really good. The good. teeth. Look at that tooth. Good for you, dude. Look, at, look, look, look. He get the little. Oh my god. <laughs> teeth right here. Wait, that's really good. <laughs> Shout out, David. I'm very impressed. And then you got the... Aaron Judge. Boo. You got the boo. Cute. It's a cute Coming addition. Coming off the side of his mouth. Okay. Well, should we bet which one's the best? No, no, no. Best bets. Best <laughs> bets. <laughs> no sweat bets. All right, no sweat yeah, bets. let's get into it. No sweat bets presented by Southern Air. What's your Me bet? first? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I think everybody knows what I'm going to say. Before I even get to my other bet, I'm definitely going to hammer... Yankees. I think we're like plus 105 tonight. Really? I'm hammering that. Yeah. Just because I feel like we're coming out in game one strong. We got cold pitcher for us. Going to be a perfect game, hopefully. Uh, Judge is going to do something. Despite what everybody says, saying, oh, Aaron Judge isn't going to show off in the playoffs. He isn't going to show up in the playoffs. He has it. Come but... on, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If I'm wearing a good Who's look, going yard it's first? basically Shohei I'm or Judge. judge? <laughs> I'm not Judge. Okay, Shohei or Soda. Mind you, she's Soda. a Yankees fan. So I am a Yankee today. fan, you but I need Aaron Judge today. to do something. I'm for she's real. She's a realist. There's a lot on the line here, and these excuses, I'm done. There better not be an excuse. No more excuses this year. There's no more excuses. Trust me. Aaron Judge for years. He's going to get it done. He's going to get it done. He better. This for year. years what? Just choked in the playoffs? Yeah, pretty much. And it's just like this year. And like, thank God for so. Are you kidding me? Thank God for John Carlos Stanton. Thank God. I'm serious. where did he come from? Like, out of nowhere, just the start playing You want to know why? New York will do that to you. Because they start to hate you. He probably got a mean. Like, Eli Manning. They ran Eli Manning out of New York so fast. That man won two Super Bowls. Yeah, he was Ghana. He won his two Super Bowls. Yeah, because he look at Daniel Brady Jones. Yeah. They ran him out for Daniel Jones, okay? Like, trust he me, they're kicking old. rocks. They're kicking no, rocks. come on. Listen, I appreciate your realist mentality, but nonetheless, I got the Yankees tonight taking game one in L.A. I feel like that's just how we got to set the tone, even if I sound delusional. So what? How many games? Fans are supposed to be delusional. <laughs> how many games? <laughs> let me, let me. Yankees and what? Yankees and six. Okay, I'm that's reasonable. Right no, I think Yankees that I think six. that's sure. Yankees and six. Fans are are. I don't think I don't think delusion. whoever wins it'll go seven for sure. I don't think. You don't think so? I don't, I don't think, think so wins. either. I don't think it's gonna go seven games. I'm gonna throw up if there's a game. We got seven. a good chance. Yeah, you don't want that. Not in, I, I can't not even in handle LA. this. Man, I'm, gonna throw, I'm thinking about. I'm gonna throw up thinking about it. And probably I would say my final bet is gonna be UFC this Saturday because I've been doing good with the UFC picks. I had Pereira last time. He delivered. I would say. Ilya Teporia versus Max Holloway. That's going to be a slugfest. They both said they're going to go out there and they're going to hit hard from the start. So I don't expect this to go full. I'd probably say this is like third third round, if most, TKO. Really? I'm going to say Max Holloway. God, I know a lot of people are saying Ilya Teporia. He's dominant and I like him. He's a, he's yeah, a great Teporia's fighter. Teporia's the real deal. He's the real deal. He, bro, the way he carries himself, just the way he fights too. He's going to so be tough. So you're calling the upset. I'm is it an upset? It. Yeah. Well, I, I I haven't looked at the line, but it might be an upset. Because I just think Max just sturdy. He's, 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 he's coming off a great momentum win. He's always done this. Like, he's always coming to the fights kind of underhanded. People always got something to say about Max Holloway. But at the end of the day, when there's two men in the ring and you just got to go slug for slug, he always comes out. And I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna take Max Holloway. Okay. Okay. Do you have any bets? Let me think. Uh, first one, LSU over A and M. No bias. I mean, I've been, I've been seeing all this stuff on TikTok comparing Kyle Field to Death Valley. I mean, come on, there. No. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's gonna be a blowout. I definitely don't think it's gonna be a blowout. I think it'll be a close one. I think it'll be no more than a touchdown that we win by. But mm. Kyle Field doesn't even compare. Like, okay, nothing. Respect compares. to Kyle Field, no. but like no Death Valley at night. <laughs> no respect. Look. Sure, we haven't went in there and won since 2016. Right. That's what some people are saying. But you kind of said something like Caroline Fenton said. She said she wasn't sure it was going to be a blowout because it's at Kyle Field. So I will give them that. The fact that they have that presence alone, that's strong, but it's not comparable to Tiger State. No. It's not comparable to Death Valley. It gets loud in there. Like It gets earthquake loud I saw in someone there. said... Kyle Field's so hard to play in. The, the Aggies can't even play in. <laughs> yeah, but couldn't you say the same thing with LSU in their line right now on the penalties? 
Like they can't. Like, they can't get think, them under you, control, even when they're here. Do you think the sound is going to be an issue, though, Definitely. this weekend? I think, yeah. that's, that's I think it will no be, sweat. but yeah. I don't think it's going to stop I think so. us. The LSU sound. offensive line over one and a half false starts. I think No, no disrespect no, to the boys in the trenches. No matter how much key valid. the ball. No matter how much preparing they do, like during practice, like turning up the speakers, it's different when it's just students yelling at you and stuff. But it's all about composure. Right. I think if they stay composed, even if it's one penalty, two penalties, as long as we're not throwing ourselves out the game, I think. Yeah, Gary can't throw a pick. Say, but it, it's going to come down to Nuss and how much he turns the ball over if he doesn't. I mean, he showed good signs in Arkansas, definitely, but Arkansas is not A&M. But I, it's going to come down to if he can keep the ball in the offensive, offense's <laughs> hands, I think. He Nuss makes me a, nervous. Yeah, he has he does. flashes of like – He has all the tangibles. Yeah. I, I think this might be his breakout game, honestly. I hope you're right. Not, not that he hasn't had a breakout game, but I think this is the one where he kind of quiets yeah, the... But when you look at the stats, you're kind of like... It's all there. Was the defense the reason LSU won against Ole Miss, or was it Garrett Nussmeyer? I mean, let's Come be... Come that fourth you know quarter, I mean? like, Nuss did Yeah, in. at the end of the fourth quarter. But you're right. Uh, but, like, when you look at it, you know, that was two plays where you really were like, okay, great, Garrett right. came in when it was needed, and reasonably so. But consistency is key. And you know what? Give me Jaden over Caleb. This yeah. weekend. Okay, oh my god. Like yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jay, Wait, is he gonna play though? Yeah. I think my sources say he's playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my sources. I made a couple calls. He's playing. Jaden's go. gonna make the case if he as as if he hasn't already offensive rookie of the year. I look, Caleb's Caleb's good, but he we've been knowing this. I I, I made a bet with my friend that Jaden was gonna win over Caleb and I was I was stupid for saying that. Shout out Judd. Yeah, you know Judd, shout out Judd. Yeah. Come on now, dude. You're Jaden's Jaden show. Jaden is that guy. I'm happy you said that because I J- thought he was gonna play. I had to bench him for my my fantasy yeah. uh, other quarterback, Ooh. Justin Herbert, which I wasn't too oh happy my God. about. I Why would you happy. do that? Well, he had to play I, I didn't it think safe. He was gonna play. I didn't he had to play it safe. He was gonna play. Didn't he get injured? And I saw yeah. I thought he was out. Yeah. But now that you said that, I just said your source might have in. said something because I already know. I already know what Daniels is gonna do. He's gonna run He's up and down that field like it's nothing. Did he ever miss a game for us? I don't think he did. He definitely got taken out, but I don't think <laughs> he practically got again. concussed versus Alabama, and they yeah. were like, "Nah, I'll put him back in." But I think That's a dog. And Mizzou, Mizzou was when he hurt his ribs that game, right. and he was like, "No, nah, I'm going back that's out there," and he won scared, the game because they said ribs again. That was a, oh yeah, but no, that's what I actually made me feel good. I was like, "Oh, this kid's fine." If he was at LSU, they would have put him back in. The only reason they didn't is like it's the NFL. Oh, it's the NFL. They got to be more professional, you know. Like, there's not as much of the line. They were already winning. You can lose a game here and there. He's tough as. I was like, kid's fine. Fine. Can I make one more? Yeah. yeah. Future bet here. Give me uh give me Lamar. MV three. He's getting his third MVP. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> I can't hey. I can't say it's, I can't say Super Bowl, but I can say this. MV three. He'll get us to the playoffs. It's up to them at that point. Derrick Henry, offensive rookie. I mean, offensive player of the year. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Come on. Lamar is playing the crazy. best he's ever played. Yeah. And it's crazy because he's in year seven and he's still getting better. Like Give me Lamar MV3. He's losing weight. He's getting faster. He's making better decisions. Put that on Come on, shirt, bro. Listen, I'm a fan of Lamar. From the Giants. No, hey, me too. I, we're, yeah. We're big fans up there. I Humble, love him. He just took the lead over Mahomes, which is even surprising that it needs to be said because Mahomes has, what, Trash. eight interceptions? Yeah. Six, six touchdowns. And look, I'm not an idiot. Come playoff time. They'll get to right, the playoffs, right. and then Mahomes is going to be Mahomes. But who knows what he's going to do with D Hop? I mean, even though D Hop, I think D Hop's washed. All right, come I don't now. think anyone's washing Mahomes. I think he's real, also never played with a decent quarterback. That's what I was saying. He had Watson. Yeah, for a year, and then and was then it a year? but he did he maybe did two. Great. He did great. But then Watson. Watson sat out and all that stuff. And then remember, they traded D Hop for a bag of right. chips with O'Brien. Can D Hop stay got dirty. healthy? I'm not as worried about it. Yeah. But yeah, give me Lamar. Well, MB3. I think the thing is, is it's like an extra threat though. When you say, even though you could right. say he's, wa- it's still oh, there's D Hop on the other side. Like you gotta watch out. You the know what I mean? The hands are still there. I feel right. like it, with Pat Mahomes, with anything yeah. possible. I don't know. That's I, like you know what? Shame thing. on the Titans. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. How do you do that? How I do you would, do that? I was, I was sitting there at the beginning of the week because I just had a feeling. I just know the Chiefs were gonna make a trade, and I'm like, the teams that are like these bottom feeders that yes. are like, no, they're out. Like. Try and equalize the playing field. And then not only do you give up Hopkins, you give him up for what? A fourth round pick? I cannot stand that. I cannot stand that. It gets me me fired up. How much did Bill O'Brien give away for him? Like literally nothing. nothing. 
when he and he was in his prime, I would still consider at like, that do time. Do the Titans just want to see a three P? Because I I don't. Uh, no, I don't either. I don't think they care. Titans though. are trying to boost the. Do they care? I don't get it. I don't get it. I think the Ravens will end up making a trade on the defensive side. I think I think all the contenders will. I think the Lions will. They're going to be some big trades here in this like next week, but I don't like the Titans doing that. Man, Shame on you guys. Not the Cowboys. I mean, the Cowboys won't do anything. Whoever their so. GM is, I mean, he won't even be here in a year. He sucks, probably. <laughs> I mean, they're. It gets me fired up, man. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. <laughs> Maybe you could start there, David, and then work your way up to the New York We got to bring Ragin in. Gets like, Ragin has to be like our Mel Kuyper, like some, and some yeah, serious NFL be, uh, news uh, breakdown. The no Sweat Bets I'm guy, here for too. It. Bring me in for the NFL. <laughs> you just got to come in for every No Sweat Bets segment. I just, I don't <laughs> get, like that. I don't get organizations that don't like <laughs> being stupid. good. No shot at your boys. But, what's his name? They said, so, they said, yeah, he's coming back for another year. Like, I don't have, listen, oh, you mean like the Cowboys now, too? Down. Saying that, you know, Derrick Henry wouldn't have fit into the offense. In but Ezekiel Elliott fit just fine, right? How about you make Derrick Henry fit in like, your offense? You know, a Jerry guy Jones who's, who's a never had a problem the off the field, great person seems to be, and, you know, pretty great running back. But, yeah, let's bring how, Ezekiel how Elliott back in. How long has been there? Not too long, right? Who? Is this like three years, four years? I don't know. But was he the one that signed Daniel Jones to that extension? He's the one Get him who signed out. Daniel Jones. I mean, he should have gotten him <laughs> out right the then. He's the one who didn't, didn't offer Saquon. Sa- right. Saquon, Saquon, get him out. Sign me. I, look, hey, I think I'll I'm graduating. Cool I'm graduating in May. I'm here. You were eligible happy. in June. I'm eligible. Yeah, I was to, to eligible be our next too. GM. Listen, I'll, listen, I'll root for somebody I mean, I was, as long I was as somebody goes in there the and takes the reins out of Joe's hands and brings the Giants back. Bring someone in with like a decent understanding. Sure, you be the GM. Get Lamar up there. Okay. Tomorrow, love it in New York. Don't ever say that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lamar. No, don't bring that good man to New York. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, but there's a bunch of good the quarterbacks fan, the coming up. The fans would ruin him. We get Shador. Would, no. We get Shador. Love the fans, but we're taking for Shador. Actually, Shador would really fit in New York for I'm real. Because he, he would just shut everyone up. And he would just be like, mm. even if he lost, he would be like, I don't care. You guys. Oh, yeah. He, you guys look are, at my watch. <laughs> look at my watch. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm releasing a new rap song later on. Go watch it after you just like lost to the Jets or something. Yeah. He would totally. He would work great. He lost there. to the Jets with your door. Don't would, say that. It, but like I'm What's just saying, on? if it happened, he would he would work great there. Imagine Dion would have done great there in yeah, New York. Yeah. But you know what Dion said with the Giants and how he called them up. <sighs> I'll be gone by then. Anyway, I'm going to do LSU, too. I think they're going to win. I think I'm going to want to gouge my eyes out at the end of this game, truthfully. Oh, it'll be a tough I don't think it's going to be a smooth game. I think if they were home, I'd be like, yeah, they're winning. Wrap it up. Right. We don't even have to play this game. We already know what's going to happen. But Who knows? It might even be a turnover fest. It might just be here. I, hope it is. I really hope it is a defense thing. I kind of liked that when we were at home in Ole Miss and we kind of felt like, well, the defense kind of looks better than the offense at some points. I liked that. That was yeah. finally fun to yeah. watch and not say, okay, just ho- kind of hold your breath and wait for the defense to get off the field. I like that. But David, I think Ness, I think Nuss settles in today. I mean, the, not hey, today. I hope tomorrow. so. This might be, this might be uh, you know, a little, a little bit of a sweat bet. There's definitely not a no sweat bet, but Caleb Jackson – <laughs> Two touchdowns? Two Caleb or- do, do I sound crazy? Here's what I say. Here's what Caleb I or Durham? I'm going to say Caleb. And here's really? Why. Here's why. Here's why. I think Caleb Durham's a, uh, an amazing running back. I think that he's probably going to get the majority of the like, – like he's expected to get the majority of the of the snaps of any run of plays we do. But – I think Caleb's been brewing. We haven't been using him that much. I don't get that either. Oh, Caleb. He's like the bruiser. Which is why I think he'd be perfect for this a Because I don't want to hurt Durham. We're going We've into working I think we're working him too much. I think he's been good. I think he, he can carry the ball well. I think he's been getting good in our staffs. But him and Caleb, Texas A&M, you want to you wanna set that aggression on, on, on the run game quickly, right? You want to kill that the passion of that student section. Put Caleb Jackson to put his shoulder down. That's all I'm saying. He's got to do it though. He'll run through somebody. He's got to. He's got to do it though. T- you get your sideline fired up. Who Even is it? if Coach may want to put Caleb, like be like, oh, I'm not sure, Caleb. Just let him go run through somebody. Who did he run through? Was it Mississippi State last year that he just took that man's pride away? Boom! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Come on. So that's why I'm saying. That, but nothing gets you fired up more than that. Because you see that, and you're like, yes. And then the team sees that, and they're like, yeah. yeah. Get behind this guy. We put in BTA. But I, mm, I agree, but I think he's got to do it. That's, I mean, that sounds really simple and dumb, but like he just. I think he could do it. if he. There's a reason Caden Durham's playing more. No, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, that's the thing. That, I agree. That this, that's the, I mean, 
if I trust Kelly enough, that's the thing that that discourages me because they must be seeing something in practice that we're not seeing. Right. That yeah. Caleb's not getting in. So yeah. Who knows? So that that wraps it up. I don't know. But I don't give BK that much confidence when it comes. Yeah. To as someone back. that so has, I mean, he might. Yeah. He literally just sometimes just won't play. Yeah. Right as, as someone that has experienced him for twenty one years of my life. Is a Notre Dame. Oh up. yeah, but I just think we have enough. Like my point is just we have enough options on offense to, to like, spread the ball. There out. shouldn't be like there shouldn't be that many problems creating points that that we see week Chris to week Hilton's because we have back. people. Chris Hilton's doing a full like full practice. That's all shout good out news. Aaron Anderson. Aaron Anderson's doing unsung his thing. hero. Kyron Lacy doing his thing. Nussmeier's right. delivering the ball, and I like that Nussmeier is taking shots. Like, even if sometimes he gives you a heart attack because the defender dropped that ball, right. and you're like, oh, yeah. my God. I mean, that was Brett Favre. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was Brett Favre. Just hail it, throw it up there, and hopefully it comes down. Oh, my God, guys. We're yapping. There, there's a lot to look at. So, I think that it's promising for LSU, and, but they so. have to win. I agree, Trish. Set They're the tone for Alabama. There. And who else Hardest has to win? of the season, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree because it's, yeah, on the road, 100%. And same thing with the New York Yankees. I think this is going to be the hardest game for them because I think they're actually going to lose this one. There's a lot going on in L.A. today. Lakers game, USC game tomorrow, all this, all this, all this. Traffic's going to be horrible. Oh, my gosh. But you know what's going to happen? They're going to win game two, and then they're going to go home, and they're going to win three games they straight. They can still win in L.A. Exactly. They're going to win the one in L.A. That's if they don't win thinking. tonight, they're going to win game two, and then they're going to go back to New York because we're not playing around anymore. I've listened to yeah. the Soto Shuffle 25 times this morning, okay? I've heard 15 edits. Guess what? They haven't been in the playoffs in 15 years, and I can't handle this. I'm going to start crying. I'm going to get Come emotional on. again. Come on. Um, I just want to see them win a win Yeah. Please don't let me down because I'm never watching sports again. Like, you should have saw the text messages I was sending to my family, how much I hate sports. I wish I just like poetry and planting and, like, doing peaceful things. But I don't. Like, I'm a sports fan. I was like, you know what? If I ever, my life's on the line, don't call an ambulance. Call Giancarlo Stanton. I, like, I was going off. I was saying don't sign Soto because I don't want to watch someone who can't do anything like Aaron oh, wow. Judge has. And then my next text was sign Soto. Give him a billion dollars. I don't care. Da- if David has to you pay more to taxes Soto. for it, if David has to pay more taxes for it, David's got to pay more taxes for it, okay? Sign that sign man, Soto. please. Church. I love when you're for this team. When you're for I'm this team, I'm for them for right now. But they but can't let me down. I'm not because they you can't let me like down. Because they can't. Let, because can't I let spent let thirty dollars. I spent thirty dollars on a chicken tendy basket. And if you don't win the World Series, there's going to be a problem. Gotta, and I want my money back. Faith is scary. Faith of no, the no. You we're New trust. York. We're New York. There's a, there's there's a levels and there's an expectation. And for 15 years not to win a World Series, that's a problem. That's a problem, man. It's yes, that's that's what just like, there is, like okay, no okay. no offense, no offense, but like the Orioles, the expectation isn't there, respectfully. It's not, it's not there. It's it not. is for New York. And yeah. if you go out there and you lose to the Dodgers, you're an embarrassment to me. Oh, okay? Wow. And I don't want to be seen in a Yankee okay. shirt because you didn't get to win. Show hey this, I don't care, Freddie Freeman, what? I don't care. I don't care. We have the same superstars. Aaron Judge, I know what you're capable of. Hit a darn home run, okay? Because okay. if you, Soto, and John Carlos Stan just hit bombs, how are they going to keep up with that? They're not. Win a World Series. I'm not playing. Okay. Or Derek Jeter, I will get him out there and fix his ACL or whatever he needs to get out there and to win a World Series. Okay? Maybe that's mean. Maybe that's harsh. But... It seems like you need to get that Mike drop. That was a they, 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 they like put me through get a that out. She has to get that I've out. I've watched you know too many Look, I am going to say this. Don't... Expectations on the Orioles up into this point were World Series. Right, but right. Now it is. Now it is, but that's what I'm saying. Like For 15 but years, I get you, you go saying. without a World Series. The Dodgers won in 2020. Not even that. The Forget Yankees them. have some of the... Yes, they have the most exactly. Money. If I don't we know if the Dodgers money. are up yes. there, but the oh Yankees, no, they're the richest. They're the so richest. I think you need to sign back Soto. But we got money and this too. is coming from an Orioles fan that does not. Sure, like, but I. But honestly, if you if you win a World Series, good. that'd be great for me. But I really don't care. For your sake, I hope win, they do win. Win a World Series because I. Thank you. I'd expect the same if the Ravens were in the Super Bowl. Of course, you know exactly. I can't handle it. I can't handle them not winning. Yeah, I will never come back from it. Yankees won. Me not Yankees. I'll be a depressed Yankees fan forever. In the past five years, twenty twenty. Yeah, emotional. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I'd cry. But if see, the Ravens won, so I get it. We gotta wrap up, but I can't. Like, if the Yankees <laughs> win, I can't. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't. She's like, I cannot picture them winning. And that's understandable. And like, enjoy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, enjoying that moment. Like, would you go? Would you go back for the parade? I win. I don't know, but I'd would want you? to. 
If I had the money. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, like, we'll, I, can I, we just I, take I a train? Good, but How about this? Me. We'll just send I'll you for Tiger TV. Oh, yeah. That That's fine. Listen, we'll do a podcast in there. Tigerland Confessions. In New York. In New Spray. York City. Oh, man. We, I don't Please, know how much of that gosh. we'd be able to use, but it'd be I amazing content. I would just cry and cry, like tears of joy. I could never have a bad day if they won. I would never have. What, what could go wrong? Never. Yankees are world champions. Pretty much. New York Liberty, New York Yankees up next. All right. That wraps it up. For the Purple Room Podcast, I'm Patricia Caputo. He's David Bartholomew and Rajan Valdez. Thanks so much Hello, for joining you guys us. Say goodbye to our pumpkins oh, too. and bye. Bye. Drop the vote in the comments. Brian Thomas the third. Who won? Who's the best? The Purple Room presented by Walk-Ons. See you later.